So by now, I think we all know what happened to actor Lee Sung Kyun on December 27th, 2023. He was an A-class, very beloved celebrity in South Korea, and many of international fans know him from Parasite. He won many awards. He was also married to a very famous South Korean actress. They had two kids. He just had a very wholesome image overall, and I personally was a big fan of Lee Sung Kyun as well. But just before December 27th, actor Lee got into a huge scandal where he was quite questioned by the police for doing allegedly doing illegal drugs in South Korea. Then came the news that actor Lee was being blackmailed by a couple individuals and the story never unfolded until after his passing. The truth is just being revealed now as we speak and a lot of netizens in South Korea are in a shock of how sinister these blackmailing individuals had planned for actor Lee and what they were actually doing. So a lot of people are calling out stop judging somebody until all the facts are out there and how to prevent media lynching of these celebrities. And even if somebody decides to take an unfaithful choice for their own life, how can we not shame somebody to their death? Everybody makes mistakes in their lives and when is enough enough? And in relation to today's story, if you are just like I am going through tough times, it is important to talk to somebody. And I personally also am the type that do not talk about my feelings and emotions and things have been bottling up for years for me that I, I just knew that it was time to try something else. And it was the first time I actually went into therapy. And within the convenience of my own home, I decided to try online therapy through BetterHelp, who is also the, the sponsor of today's video, Crazy TV. I honestly didn't know how good it felt to just talk to somebody, to figure out some coping mechanisms of my anxiety and stress and insomnia that I have time to time. And I've been trying therapy through BetterHelp for a few weeks now to talk to a professional therapist. And my therapist and I came up with some plans to how to cope with anxiety again, incorporating more meditations, journaling, and things like that, and to talk about my problems and not to keep it bottled up. They have over 30,000 therapists in their network, so there's a wide range that you can choose your therapist from. All you have to do is answer their questionnaire. It helps to bring a perfect match for you and you'll get matched with a therapist in most cases within 48 hours or less. I spend hours on social media, going to the gym, so why not put that time into your mental health as well? Over 4 million people have started using BetterHelp to bring a healthier, happier life. You can use my link betterhelp.com slash crazy tv where you could get 10% off your first month. So you can try and see if this can be a big help to you. Again, it's all all at the convenience of your own home and just by you guys clicking and checking out the sponsors again helps big time with these mystery channels so big thank you to you guys and better help and let's get back to the video so as i said earlier i think we all know actor Lee Sun Kyun. in october he got into a big scandal where police alleged that he did illegal drugs in south korea south korea has a big standard for especially huge celebrities you're supposed to have a clean image a good loving family image especially for big celebrities coming from from a criminal scandal can be a really really tough one i mean some people have done it but a lot of the times you will be banned from tv networks stations and things like that and it seemed like because he got into a scandal and he was the face of a lot of commercials and movies that he was supposed to be in a lot of it got canceled and apparently the actor might have had to owe millions of dollars in a breach of contract there were news that he was being blackmailed but the truth never really came out until after his passing which is very unfortunate because we now have the official police testimony and statements from these blackmailers and we got a bigger picture of what was actually happening and this case investigation is still ongoing so a lot of it is still allegedly a lot of new information are to come and still some of it remains a mystery to understand the story we have to talk about one huge individual in this case and her name is madam kim her age is still a mystery some reports saying that she's 29 some reports saying that she is a lot older. We don't know the actual identity, but Madam Kim is the head manager or the head madam of a particular nightlife business. From what I heard in the nightlife, there's different layers to it. The first layer we know is like somewhere that everybody goes to, you know, just the regular bars, the regular hangout places, the regular clubs, right, that everyone can go to. Then you have different layers and we get to kind of the hidden ones where a lot of the celebrities, big 
politicians, businessmen, big high profile people go to to specifically keep themselves a secret and still can have fun, which, you know, does make sense. But in a lot of these hidden high profile nightlife bars, especially like the one that Madam Kim was the manager of, from what I know, this is where you can drink karaoke, have fun, but especially they provide you with high class women or girls. You might have heard something called Ilpro in South Korea. Ilpro means the 1%. I think this exists in all nightlife in every single country. This is not unique to Asia. But 1% means the actual 1% really beautiful girls come and become like a companion, a drinking buddy for these high profile men. A lot of these beautiful girls that work in these nightlife are former trainees, former singers, models, actresses that haven't really made it. So they do work in these places and they get paid to become your talking girls. This is kind of like the YG scandal, how he met Sohee, you know, that girl who got into a huge scandal with multiple celebrities. Allegedly, she was working also as these talking girls. That's why I say I think Madam Kim is way older than 29, I think, because apparently for you to become a Madam status, you have to like work your way up. And she was also known to date multiple celebrities as well. I don't know what kind of like special relationship they had. I'm imagining this is not a normal boyfriend and girlfriend relationship, if you know what we mean. So we don't know the exact time when actor Lee met Madam Kim, but they did start to have this hidden relationship, which also could be a big deal because actor Lee is married with kids. Again, they have this perfect family image and to have these kind of scandals, even like a cheating scandal happen is a big target for their reputation. From what I heard, they're more keen to start a relationship with these talking girls because they actually keep it a secret. That's why they're there. That's why they're kind of being paid. That's why, you know, they work in the nightlife because they know how to keep that relationship a secret and they're kind of in it for, you know, different purposes. So allegedly, actor Lee would go back and forth to Madam Kim's house. And this is where we get to the controversial part where actor Lee was accused of doing drugs with Madam Kim. And allegedly, Madam Kim's house was where she would call in different celebrities and high profile people and provide them with drugs. But come to find out, Madam Kim was previously convicted of doing drugs six times in the past. So she actually had been convicted and put into jail for doing drugs illegally. I'm not sure how many times or how many months she served, but she was a convicted criminal. Now fast forward to September of 2023, Madam Kim claims that she got the first message from a blackmailer slash hacker named Ni Nem Dim. This hacker would send multiple messages to Madam Kim threatening her saying that, hey, I know your information and your relationship and what you did with actor Lee. I have all the information. I have voice recording messages between you two. I am going to release this information online if you do not pay me a certain amount of money. And originally the hacker wanted about EDOC, which is a little below $100,000. Although online it was reported that actor Lee paid the hackers $300,000 and we will get into that. The hackers also threatened Madam Kim saying that if you do not bring the money within a couple of days, they will add interest to it as well. And and this is where we enter the second individual, Miss Park. Miss Park is a former actress herself. She is 28 years old, but she was a woman that lived above Madam Kim's apartment. So they were like pretty much apartment roommates. Park is one of the biggest fraud criminals out there. And Madam Kim was put into jail or prison for her drug doing. And this is when they would get close in prison. And according to the family of Madam Kim, Park and Kim have been best friends ever since. Like literally they talk about everything. Madam Kim have opened up to Park about all her secrets and things like that. And they were so close BFFs that Madam Kim has introduced Park to her family as well. Now Park, has a lot of criminal past history involving fraud. She has been convicted multiple times. She had stole thousands of dollars. And allegedly in 2023, she had a baby, a child, and there was up to five potential baby daddies. And all these five individuals were being threatened by Park that this is your baby, so we need child support. And she would get thousands of dollars from each five men. Apparently three out of five of them got a paternity test and they were proven to not be the father, but they still gave her thousands of dollars and there's still two men out there that need to do the paternity test. 
Now, starting from a year prior to this big scandal, Park and Kim started to have kind of like falling outs. Now, we don't know the true extent of the relationship between Madam Kim and Park, but it seemed like Park was still lying to everybody. And to me, it seems like they're both like on the same spectrum of people, fraudsters and scammers. Now fast forward to August of 2023, Madden Kim was being questioned by the police for a different unrelated case from actor Lee's case. Madden Kim was being questioned by the police claiming that she again did drugs, specifically THC. Madden Kim knew that she has been convicted multiple times and this time she can be really put into prison sentence for a long time. So she would tell this to her BFF Park, like, oh my God, this is happening. They're gonna question me. I'm now gonna be in jail for a long time and Park allegedly suggested to Kim, hey, you should dye your hair or bleach your hair because uh, apparently that kind of strips away the drug. You should also give me samples of your hair because I know somebody that has these like hair drug test kits and you can test and see if like you will be convicted or not, see if it worked. So Madam Kim would give Park all of this, like photos of her getting her hair bleached, samples of her hair. So now Park had all these personal information about Madam Kim. So now fast forwarding to September when Madam Kim, like I said, was being haunted by these hackers or blackmailers. And this is where the true story seems to get really twisted. The exact timelines are a little bit cloudy, so bear with me. So as Madam Kim was being threatened by these blackmailers, she has not told actor Lee yet, allegedly. So where did Madam Kim go to talk about this? Of course, her BFF, Park. So Madam Kim would go to Park. You know, her apartment was right upstairs. She would be like, oh my God, I'm being threatened by these blackmailers, I don't know what to do. And Madam Kim got scared that, you know, blackmailers and people know where she lives and things like that. So she would bring her important diary where she wrote down her iCloud password all her password to all her phones, computer, and things like that. And some of the other important information she would bring up to Park's apartment and stay there for a couple days. And this is around the time when people believe that Park got direct access to Madam Kim's iCloud, all her photos, recordings, videos, and everything. What the two had in relationship, what they talked about is still unknown, but we fast forward to mid to late September. That is when Madam Kim would tell actor Lee about the black mailing. She told the actor she cannot control it anymore, that this is out of her hands now, and they're really seriously asking for a lot of money. Otherwise, we're going to be in big trouble. But this is where we get into the big mystery. Remember, originally the hackers only wanted about $100,000. But in this message from Madam Kim to actor Lee, she would say that the hackers are asking for $300,000 and that if he can just give her that money, she will try to end it as clean as possible and it will be, it will go away. So everybody right now, the police and South Korean netizens, we're like, wait, why is Madam Kim asking for three times the price to actor Lee? Isn't this the person that she's supposed to care about? Isn't this the person she said in her recording conversation, you know, I don't want to hurt actor Lee, I can go to jail, but he has a big reputation, you know, we can't do this to him. And she's literally asking him for extra $200,000 for what? So you see, the story is getting a little bit strange. And I'm reading the part where she said, just trust me and I will take care of it. I mean, if this is a blackmailer and hackers, how are you gonna take care of it? How do you know they're just gonna stop with this amount of money? What if they ask you for more? Apparently hackers had everything on her phone. So how are you gonna take care of it? Now later when questioned by the police and remember actor Lee later on actually sued Madam Kim for blackmailing as well because he later found out there was something suspicious about Madam Kim as well. We'll get into that more later, but when questioned by the police about the remaining $200,000, Madam Kim said, oh, the rest of $200,000 was for escape funds. It was an agreement between actor Lee and I that this would be hush money, to hush everything and not to go to the media. You're asking for $200,000 from the actor compared to what the hackers asked you for, and this is escape funds? Until this day, there is no proof that actor Lee and Madam Kim had any arrangement that he was gonna pay her $200,000 to keep herself hushed from the media or the police. 
So going back before the police questioning happened, actor Lee would give Matt and Kim $300,000 that he thought that the hackers were asking for. Actor Lee would pass on the money, the cash, to his friend to give it to Madam Kim. And they actually wrote an agreement when the money was handed over that they would never talk about this and that no other money could be asked for. And I'm sorry, you guys, but this is where we get into even more of a twisted story because till this point now, Madam Kim is alleging that she is being threatened by hackers, that she has no idea who they are. So at this point, Madam Kim alleges that she got this text from the hackers saying that, hey, leave the money, the $100,000 that I asked you for behind a fire hydrant near their apartment. And Kim refused. She said, nope, that's a too dangerous place. I don't want to leave the money there. And somewhere along the line, as everything was happening, she was talking to Park about it. Kim kind of suspected that Park might be involved, but she wasn't exactly sure yet. Again, we don't know what kind of relationship or what they talked about behind the scenes, but around here is when Madam Kim would literally ghost everybody except her family. It's been two days since Matt and Kim disappeared with the money. She literally ghosted the hackers. And this is when Park, now two days since she, she can't reach her friend as well, Matt and Kim, she called Matt and Kim's mother. On September 24th, Park says, oh, when did you last hear from Kim? Because now the hackers are coming after me. They're saying that, oh, you're Matt and Kim's friend. So if you don't get in touch with her, I'm gonna come for you and your child, her baby. And allegedly now Park was saying that the hackers are ordering her to bring the money to the hackers. So again, somewhere along the line, Madam Kim's mother would then give the location of where Madam Kim was. And apparently she was hiding at a friend's house for who God knows what reason. So magically the hackers now knew where Matt and Kim was hiding and apparently Matt and Kim started to talk to the hackers again. And the hackers told Matt and Kim, okay, don't run away this time, bring the money to a specific hotel. Allegedly, Matt and Kim showed up to this hotel with a male friend because she was scared and the hackers saw that she was with the male person so they didn't show up to collect the money. Now somewhere along this whole ordeal, the hackers would mention about the extra $200,000 that she got from actor and Matt and Kim only told this to her family and Miss Park. The hacker, the blackmailer, all this time was Matt and Kim's best friend, Actress Park. How did Actress Park pull this all off while she was semi living with Matt and Kim? And this is where the twisted mystery is. As Matt and Kim allegedly found out that Park was actually the hacker, she was like, she ghosted everybody. She literally ran away with the entire money. So at this point, if you found out your best friend was a hacker, wouldn't you like at least give her some hush money and say, hey, stop this, you're my best friend, we're not doing this? Or wouldn't you give back rest of the money back to actor Lee? Uh, she ran away from actor Lee as well. She took the entire $300,000 and kept it to herself. Park slash the hacker, she got mad that she didn't get any money from this. Like after her hard work of trying to scam somebody, she didn't get any money. And she's like, her friend got all the money and ran away. So Park being angry, she contacted Matt and Kim's mother again saying, hey, did you know your daughter is doing drugs again? And Matt and Kim got mad that Park was contacting her family about doing drugs and things like that. And Matt and Kim threatened Park this time saying, I know you're frauding everybody. All the men that you're meeting don't know that you have a baby, that you're a single mother. I'm going to be uploading your identity. Matt and Kim invited every man that Park would know and told everybody about the truth of who Park was, that she was a criminal and that she was a single mother. And they decided to go back and forth with this whole revenge thing. Park would take the bleached photo hair of Madam Kim and her collection of Madam Kim's hair and hand it over to the police, reporting her for doing drugs. So in the midst of all of this in October or November, Madam Kim would be arrested by the police for drug-related incidents. Park, again, being mad that she did not receive any of the money, but having all this information about Madam Kim and actor Lee, she decided to threaten actor Lee herself. So she literally contacted actor Lee's manager or the actor himself directly and said, hey, did you know that Madam Kim actually ran away with all of the money? She didn't give anything to me, the blackmailer. So I want you 
to get that money back or pay me the extra $200,000 that you gave her. So now the actor was being directly threatened by this hacker. After negotiating with the hacker, actor Lee and the hacker would settle on $50,000. Actor Lee's friend would show up with the money at the specific location and guess who showed up? It was Park. Park was saying that, you know, I don't know what's happening. People are threatening me, these hackers. They told me to bring the money to the hackers. I'm not involved in this. And this was caught on CCTV. Of course, later we know that the hacker actually was Park. Remember, as this whole thing was going on, Madden Kim was arrested by the police and she was being interrogated. And the police was asking her, do you know anybody else? that did drugs with you. In her statements to the police, she mentioned that actor Lee did do drugs with her, also mentioned other celebrities that were at her bars, and this is when she also named G-Dragon. This is why G-Dragon was also called into questioning and actor Lee as well, but later we know that G-Dragon and actor Lee, both of them passed the drug test and nothing was found in their system, including their hair. So with no physical evidence at all that Madame K him gave only her statements police would question these big celebrities and would give their name to the media somebody leaked their names the police somewhere inside the police station leaked their names to the media without any factual evidence and this is a controversial part remember madam kim has been convicted six times for drugs she changed her statement multiple times to the police she would also say some crazy things to the police like apparently she was growing thc inside of her apartment and she told the police i was growing this because i want you to feed their turtles so as you could see, Matt and Kim already doesn't have a great reputation and police are taking just these statements from potentially this lying, scamming, frauding person and ruining other people's lives and leaking their names. Inside of all of this, actor Lee would find out, I guess, a little bit of the truth of who the blackmailer was. So he would sue Madden Kim and Park for blackmailing him for thousands of dollars. On December 26th, Miss Park was supposed to be coming to trial for her fraud and scamming the actor, but she would not show up to court. So now she was to be arrested. Now this is the part where maybe Park got angry that her plan didn't go through and now she was going to be potentially convicted into prison system for a long time for frauding someone again. On the day that she did not show up to court, this is when we believe Miss Park, allegedly she was the one who spread the voice recording of actor Lee and Matt and Kim. The voice recording where Matt and Kim is saying that, oh, you know, we did drugs together with actor Lee, that they had a relationship. And as I was listening to the recording, I just found it so odd. I just found Miss Madam Kim the way she was talking, just so odd. Like she wouldn't give much information to the actor of what she had, what the blackmailers were doing. and was kind of giving information to actor Lee, but he wasn't like, he was trying to like ask her what is going on. Like, what do they have? What evidence, you know? And she wasn't really like talking about it. Like it just sounded really weird. And Madame Kim herself to me does not seem entirely innocent at all. Although that's what she's claiming. The second voice recording that was released was her talking to a male friend about actor Lee and her her relationship. She's like talking to somebody else about, you know, them doing drugs together, the relationship they had. And I'm like, why is she talking to somebody else about this? Like, if she knows that the hackers has access to her phone, why is she like talking to anybody at this point with the same phone, you know? And these recordings were recorded on Matt and Kim's side. So she was recording every single conversation that she had. The next day, December 27th is when actor Lee would be found passed away. So that is what it seems like is happening. Actor Lee was legitimately being blackmailed by these two sinister scammers. The mystery is Madden Kim is claiming that she was not part of this blackmailing. Were the two, Park and Madam Kim, in on this both and somewhere along the line, like they had a fight and falling out and Madam Kim took the entire money herself? Were they both not involved in this blackmailing and they blackmailed each other? But as of right now, now, there is no evidence or at least something released by the police that the two were conspiring it together to blackmail actor Lee. But as of right now, Madam Kim used the money. 
So I don't think she's that innocent. She claims that $100,000 went to the lawyer fees so far and another $100,000 for something else we do not know yet. And police have the possession of the rest of the money, the rest of $100,000. So, I mean, she used the money. I, I don't think she's innocent at all. Now, rather actor Lee really did something illegally with Madam Kim or not, still, there is no evidence. Now, he did confess and say that he took something, but he believes he was tricked by Madam Kim. That mystery will never be solved because actor Lee did pass away. But what happened to innocence until proven guilty? What happened to keeping the name secret until that person actually was found guilty of something or forwarded to prosecutors? Who was the person, the police, that gave the name to the media and the media decide to unfairly report it? The fact that these two female individuals are one of the sinister people that you can imagine doing that to somebody just because they're famous. Why release those secret voice recording tapes? Why? The actor Lee, he has kids. You want your kids to listen to that? Why torment someone like that to that extent? I hope that this investigation is ongoing and they find the truth of what happened. Let me know what you guys have thought about today's case. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, there's many sources of help. You guys can try BetterHelp and use my link down below. See you guys in my next video.